welcome to new show minus everybody this week we did things a little differently um instead of doing what we normally do where we put out a poll and we let certain people at the patreon tier vote we did it where all of you could submit your ideas under the tweet under our tweet um and that went about as expected i would say uh the ideas were really really good the ideas were great a lot of them uh required over a five hour stream uh a lot of them required a lot of prep time or at least more prep time than a day uh but i noticed that there was a theme of sonic and as expected you know they were all great ideas yeah welcome to the staff meeting um, all great ideas. All all ideas are valid, and we like all ideals. But we I just we had to go with the theme of Sonic, which was easy to accomplish. Uh, a lot of you know, very very good ideas. So, anyways, we're playing Sonic Adventure Two, and we're gonna talk about all things Sonic, and we are going to escape from the city. Sounds good. Can, yeah, it sounds great. <laughs> and I think I did play this one. I you believe. did play because this one when you um like first booted it up and i don't know how much of the stream caught this because the thing loops you know the thing of him like skate snowboarding down the sidewalk i'm like yeah i remember doing that and i remember that being like in my head it was awesome i don't know if it actually was awesome or not because <laughs> maybe it didn't control well i don't know but i do remember doing that um my sonic history is some sonic game on the gamecube which i'm guessing it's just this one now in retrospect um, and maybe some, um, I think some stuff on the GBA, actually. Like, I have some vivid memories of, like, being Tails and helicoptering around on the GBA, but I don't know offhand You played Game which Boy game. Sonics? Yeah, Game Boy Advance. I didn't even know I don't know, know what was... Game Boy Sonic. Wasn't there, was there a Game Boy Sonic? There has Sonic Advance games were really good, so it's Crowboy. Okay, there were, that wasn't a, uh, so the thing is, too, I was telling Sarah Boy before we went live, like, it's weird with Sonic, like the Chow Garden, for instance. Like, I'm like, did I play this, or did I just see it a lot online? And I actually think I did play it and, and, uh, have that experience firsthand. Um, but yeah, that's my Sonic history, and I did enjoy those games that I had played, but I wouldn't say I'm a Sonic fan. I feel like Sonic has the, um, you know, almost you don't like, like this, Janet. Janet, no, that's awesome. Look that's at really this good. Chow's face and say I like not this. A Sonic fan. I do like this a lot. Look him right in the um, eye and tell him that you hate him. He's very cute. Um, I think it's like the um, almost like the Kingdom Hearts slash like I don't know what other series have like so many entries, but a lot of them might not be that great. So then it's just kind of like, oh, but we really like it, but we only like, like, at this point, 30% of the content we've gotten over the years. I feel like that's kind of, that's kind of where Sonic has sort of ended up. So then what's your favorite, if you had to pick, you had to pick out of the few Sonic games you've played, which Sonic game is your favorite Sonic game, Janet? Oh, I don't know. I got to look up what the GBA ones were, because I do remember really liking those. Again, I don't know if they actually were good. I'm going to look up GBA Sonic. Um, and probably just pick from there. Maybe Sonic Advance? But again, it's like a fever dream. Like, I know I did this, but I don't remember much about it. Okay, okay. Let's, let's start it and see if you remember this and see if we can change your mind to saying Sonic Adventure. Janet, look at me, Janet. Look at me. Open, I need you to open your heart to... Sonic Adventure 2, please. Sigma okay. Two I did play it, and I liked it. I don't know if it was good, but I, I liked it at the time when I played it. So would you say, is this a good game? Or is it like, this what's is... your Sonic situation too? Because I, I don't actually know what you think of Sonic. I just know that there's you've been associated with Sonic, but I don't know if that's like through memes, if that's through like passion. Like where does the meme end and the passion begin, you know? Look at, look at this. Look, look, he's breaking out of a helicopter with handcuffs on. Like, I love... I think, is this the one where he kisses the woman? No, 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 no. no. I think I might have played that one as well. <laughs> no, that this is not the one where Sonic kisses a human woman. Okay. Yeah! But, no, I, I am a huge fan of the 3D Sonic games. Uh, because they're just so nonsensical. And silly, and they have the best. I do like the idea. 
of him escaping from the military. Yeah, he's always escaping from the military. By snowboarding down the street, which in retrospect doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but I enjoyed it at the time. It also reminds me a lot of like Crazy Taxi. Like this scene and Crazy Taxi just kind of meld together in my mind. Maybe it's the same thing. But all I all I want, damn it, all I want from Sega is a Sonic Adventure 3. That's it. That's all I want. I just want this, but again. Just more of this, please. Oh yeah, I do remember this song. Ouch! Ouch! My rings! My, my- hello? My rings! Yeah, it's still a jam, it's always a bop. Sonic walk a little slow, but... Have you seen the Sonic Frontiers gameplay, Janet? Have you seen any of the Not really. Not really, I've only seen like a couple things here and there online. Um, it's been interesting because there's that like a lot of discourse around is the world too empty like do we think this is gonna be like a good full game some people saying like the combat maybe is kind of boring but i don't know i don't my memories of 3d sonic are it was a fun time but was it like I, he always moved a little bit like i don't know he wasn't the, the same you know was it the best of times it was a fun yeah. time but was it the best of times he he didn't move ever quite the way that maybe other 3D characters did, you know? Like, I think he had a he had a hard time in some spots, but like certain elements are really fun. Like the rail grinding you just did is super cool. So I'm, I'm at least gonna play it, I think, and see, you know, what's up with it, but. Oh, you can kind of go to the rail. And apparently, yeah, they released a few, IGN released another Sonic Frontiers trailer. Uh, we got something about, like, a Sonic Prime show on Netflix? Is this the summer of Sonic? Is, is my boy back? M maybe? Not until Jeff Keighley comes on stage dressed as Sonic. I <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. I'm really interested about this Game Boy Sonic game. Yeah, I really like those. Um, Was it and it's funny because I... Uh, oh no! Was it what? Was it 2D? Yeah, it was 2D. Oh. So then, do you prefer the 2D games? Probably. I think they're I think they're better games. Um, so yeah, I guess I would say I prefer it. Uh, 3D offers something different, but I think when it doesn't work, which is kind of often, it's pretty awkward. But there are times where they like create some pretty nice set pieces through like the environment and stuff that are fun, but. In between that, it's like, well, it's like the same problem I have with all Sonic games, which is why I don't really consider myself a Sonic fan, because I'm bad at getting the rhythm down, and when you don't have the rhythm down, the game, like, becomes just an awkward walk. Um, and that's why, like, I haven't really enjoyed many others, because I played a little bit of um, the one that everyone thinks is, like, really good, that, like, wasn't made by the original team, but that made Sonic, was it? Not, how was it called? People know, like the good one, you know, like the, it came out like a few years ago. Oh, I played oh, that Mania. a bit on Switch. Sonic Mania? Sonic Mania, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I, I recognize that's, I recognize that's good, but like I couldn't do it because I couldn't get the flow down. Like I can't go fast. I go slow. So I'm like, I can't do this game. Yeah, I'm not good with 2D Sonic games. Not that like I'm good with 3D Sonic games either, uh, but the 3D Sonic games have stuff like this in them. Yeah, which yeah. I just think is legendary. There's a lot happening here. There's a lot to unpack. I really liked when, um, did you play Resident Evil 2 Remake? I did, yeah. There's a light, light spoilers for Resident Evil 2 Remake if, in the chat if you haven't played it yet. I loved how they had a sequence like this in that game. I thought that was very cute. Oh, the running away from the truck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it wasn't a truck in the game, in RE2, but you know. Oh, yeah. Yes! Ba -da 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 it took a while to touch that goal. <laughs> yeah. No, I like that it's like Sonic 3D games, it's like, Oh, gotta go fast, except sometimes when you should go slow. Huh. No problem. Yeah, like, and that, I feel like that's something that you can do a bit in more in the 3D games. Like, the 2D games, you really have to be moving smooth the whole way through. Mm -hmm. It was interesting, though, too. Like, did you watch that, um, God, I forgot the name of the, this is, the, the theme of this today's show is, I forgot the name of this, but Chad has to tell me. Um, 
the Netflix documentary series on gaming. I forgot what the name of that series is. It came out like a year ago or something or half a year ago. But they had an episode talking about competitive gaming and like one of the things was that Sonic competition they had. And that was really cool to see like people who really know how to min-max the levels and everything. Hold on, I'm gonna toss up my chow. High score, yeah, it was high score. Oh! I think I finished all those at this point. It was solid. It was, the structure was a little bit weird, but it was, it, they had some good moments. So what are you doing right here? You feeding them some up, juice or? I'm juicing up my chows. I'm giving them steroids, so, but this one's sleeping, who, so. So I remember having these guys and like you collect them, right? You, like you gotta find them in the world or something? Yeah, you can like get eggs for them. Oh, this one, okay. Okay, what is the, is there a mechanical benefit to doing this? Uh, the mechanical benefit is that you you get to enter your chows in, in competitions and you can make them fight and you can make them run races and like look, look at this little guy look at how good he is at flying it's yeah Janet it's fun because it's fun Janet okay because it's fun it is cute I was just look I wasn't judging if there wasn't I was just asking if there was because For like some reason, the sometimes there's are... not anything and yeah. it's just this is just like a little side this is like a little side game to the game they're just little guys yeah but at the size you know again y'all be telling on yourselves like and that's that's actually my favorite way even though i wasn't trying to like expose sonic and its structure but that's like my it, it, life tip if you're ever like having a conversation or a debate like people want to go aggressive just ask questions and make them i'm like okay you tell me this is good and they're like well i mean you don't have to say it like that. I'm like, no, yeah, see, this is this is the problem. It's the chow guard here. Let me show you, Janet. Let me show you how okay. this works. Okay. See, the this part I don't remember. I only remember being outside with them. And again, like, y'all coming at me like I ne ain't never had a chow garden before. I chowed, okay? Everybody wanged, everybody chowed. It was great. You know, everybody had fun tonight. It was the time. But I don't remember, like, what you did with them. You raced them. I mean, them. I dressed up my Pokemon, and I never I never put them in the competitions. I just, I just had fun dressing them up. I didn't do that whole side kind of area of the game. So I was just curious. If there's anything oh, like else to do with chow. them. I forgot that I have chow heaven. So you take your little chows, and I think okay. the chow garden is, I think, one of the most requested features um, in 3D Sonic games. Like, people loved this. This was the whole reason to play Sonic Adventure 2, was like 80% for the chow garden. Because you get to you raise them, you give them little animals, and they they exchange little kisses. That chow has a gun. I'm surprised they haven't done this on mobile yet. That's what everybody says. <laughs> Look at he's got a gun, and then you race them. Look. I do like that he has a gun. And you cheer for them. So they go. Are faster. they automatically moving, or yeah. can you, are you controlling them? They automatically move, and you can like. Okay. Uh, make it so they move faster essentially this is interesting this is like those um like moments on sitcoms where they like wind up the toys and they're like which one moves faster yeah well it's like that's why you gotta like steroid up your chow and you give them certain animals he's really zooming over here yeah look at him absolutely this the end mm -hmm, he did it clap for my chow janet yay, yay! good job but thank you, Aaron, J Bear, and Grizzled Gaming for your Sonic subs. We appreciate it. Welcome to the Summer of Sonic. Congratulations. That wasn't a fair competition. Yes, it was. Okay, so maybe, Janet, do you think you played Sonic Adventure? On GBA? On, like, as your 3D Sonic game. I think I played this one that you're playing now. Okay. This is Adventure 2, right? Because I remember yes. skateboarding down the street. And I do I did have the Chow Garden. But I didn't I didn't remember the mini games that you had with them. I just knew that they were in of the field and that you could pick them up the way uh, Mario picks with that penguin that he kills. That was my memory of the Chow Garden. And that's kinda it. Like that's like all I really remember. I'm sure as I see more of the game, mm -hmm. additional memories may unlock. Mm -hmm. Um but I was never very big on replaying games which is a little surprising because i didn't own that many games so you think i'd replay them a little bit more but like 
there's only a couple games that maybe I'd like hit up for replay stuff. So I only I probably only went through this the one time, um, along with my brother who also probably went through it once. So this isn't this isn't doing anything for you, Janet? I mean they're cute. <laughs> like they're very they are very cute, but Okay guys, let me know what Sonic Adventure 2 levels I should play to try and convince Janet that Sonic Adventure 2 is the best Sonic game. What should we do, chat? What do we have to do to get Janet on our side? Someone said Pumpkin, Pumpkin Hill. Hill. It's tough because it's like, here are two things you don't remember, which is better. And I'm like, I don't I don't know. <laughs> I can pick either one and it'd be fine. I just remember liking the, the GBA ones. I kind of liked anything that was on the GBA. The GBA was a fun time. Aquatic How come mind? yours is crawling and the other ones are on two feet? Certainly because don't play the mech level. Really I do advanced. remember that mech level a little bit. I do, I, that's unlocking a memory as well. I remember slowly and poorly moving through space. Oh, what did I get? Oh, I don't even, on the, I don't know what that was. I like how this used, this was gonna be us talking about Sonic, but now it's me aggressively pushing my love for Sonic Adventure 2 onto Janet. The Sonic 2 tour? Until she accepts Sonic Adventure 2 into her life. I mean, it doesn't take too much. Like, I had it in my life, and it was, like... Hmm. It's a lot. It's a little bit this a lot. This isn't doing like, anything for you? Bring it like, it just remi like, it makes me... It's It's got a lot in it. There's a lot going on. Oh God, I'm getting, like, like, like... A lot. You know, it's, like, anime vibes, some, like, Metal Gear vibes, but then also, like, some Tony Hawk vibes, and, like, there's... There's a lot of energy and ideas thrown in here. It's a lot, it's a lot happening. Yeah, and that's the thing, like when he's not like moving through space that has been designed specifically for him, Sonic kinda like flounders a little bit. Okay, we're not, we're not, this is, we're losing Janet, we're losing Janet. How does what does exit game mean? Sonic Adventure 2 walk so Titan Falcon back to run. The menu. Okay, you can use the bounce to get high enough. It's, yeah, I mean. How does the speed run? We're losing See, Janet. Favorite, We're losing Janet. My favorite Janet. GBA game overall. That's tough. Um, let me do a quick Google. Ouch. Yeah, this is impossible. No, it's a. It's tough because I also played like obviously a lot of like Game Boy games on the GBA. Um, Select the story. I mean, it probably end up being a, a Mario Select game. I'm guessing. Oh no, the Metroid Fusion might be it. Hill. <laughs> yeah, it might be mountain? Metroid Fusion. Maybe it's Super Mario World, like Super Mario Advance Two. This isn't doing anything for you, Janet. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell. Like, what do you want to hear right now? What's gonna? What can? No, I want to hear what, what you can I say think about these cutscenes. No um, it's very dramatic. Um, I like this dude. No, like, who doesn't like Knuckles? Knuckles is a fun, a fun time. The music's really interesting. I forgot it being this like. Are oh, these all like licensed tracks too, or are they specifically made for this game? They are specifically made for Sonic games. It's interesting because they sound like they were like regular world songs. Like they don't sound like. Um, man, this ghost is really scary. It's it's scary, right? It's this spooky. What does that say? A three-faced ghost. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so the emerald. Somewhere around here. But also maybe Church Mountain out. Is this not Church Mountain? Okay, so right now, Janet, we're looking for the emeralds. Okay. We're knuckles and we're trying to get all of our master emeralds back. Ah! Oh! It definitely is something like nostalgic about the art style, which like I know there's been a lot of uh, semi gripes of oh PS1 and like Game Boy, like GameCube stuff is 
nostalgic now for people that are like younger. But like, I don't know, there's something like nice about the, um, the way it's rendered because it's kind of like you could tell that they're trying to convey something that maybe they don't have quite the technology to convey. So it's a lot of like sharp edges and things, but then elements are like really like well textured or like super detailed for certain parts. I don't know, some nice to it. It's very, yeah, very nostalgic. I like good Halloween level. What's your favorite Halloween area in a game? Would it be this one? Pumpkin Hill. See, it's very literal. Like they call it Pumpkin Hill. There's hills and they're pumpkins. Easy. Simple, easy to understand. Pumpkin feel. Yeah, as advertised. And the, the monitor's like, there's no Wi-Fi here. I don't know what's going on there. spooky is like I guess it depends on do you need the pumpkins you know what about, what to you does it need to be I guess maybe like anything spooky is fine but pumpkins get extra points I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I really like the um, Halloween area in Super Mario oh god is it blue six golden coins Super Mario Land 2 six golden coins I don't remember the name of the, the prefix name um, but there's like the pumpkin zone I think is what it's called and they have those little like fake Jasons with like the and then like the pumpkin people with like the knife in the head and stuff. I think that's a pretty good, pretty good area. Pretty, pretty spooky, pretty spooky. Oh, climbing with no look at the stamina on this guy. I know, look at he's nothing. Take notes, Link. Knuckles Take the notes. That doesn't need no stamina. And now this is when we pray that there's no stamina in Sonic Frontiers. Oh my gosh. Please no. So to ask, like, one of my least favorite questions, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. what's your hype level for Sonic Frontier? My hype level is, um, scared. Is that a hype level? Like, anxious. My hype level is I will accept it. Anxious. Okay. That's, the, that's, the, mo that's the main way that I'm hyped throughout yeah. the day. Just, just anxiety. Just, just a layer of anxiety. Looking forward. Yet concerned. What's this beeping? Oh, sorry. It's I'm getting closer to the Emerald Janet. Sorry, sorry. This is like, game mechanics. Speaking of anxiety, like, geez, <laughs> they made this is like the least appealing There's beep only, I've heard like, in a while. Places it could be too. I don't memorize them because I'm not a speedrunner. Is it in a pumpkin? Can I do anything with this? This place looks familiar. No. Ah, oh, it's probably buried. We're losing Janet again. <laughs> I will say that I for did I forgot that he could do that. <laughs> like, what, that like what's dig? going on oh, here? here, it is. It's right here. Okay, maybe not. Hello. Is there anything else he can find in there? Like, what's that ball of dirt he he brought out? Can that's he use a, that for something? That's, that's a skull. That's a human skull. Reliving slash re-remembering this game makes me feel like I'm a million years old because and, and have never played a game before where I'm like, all right, so what's this all about? Why is he doing this? What's going on? It says that it's, is it like underneath, maybe? It literally says that it's right here. Am I going insane? Is the estimation point supposed to be like, it's here? Yeah. So maybe, can you not dig underneath the thing though? No. No. No, we can climb back up. Well, you can just climb, so it's fine, yeah. He's so strong. Yeah, we're so strong. Okay, chat, where is it if you're so smart? Where's my emerald? If you're so wise. Can I stream this after you, Kuzo7? I, I feel want me to, I will. Like, I, I remember playing this game and liking it. And I'd have to, like... It's also not that long, is it? Like, how long is it? 16 hours, maybe? It's like, I think my thing came out to 14 hours, but that's what chat It'd be the shortest like. game that chat would have made me stream, because literally, what's the order been so far? It's been uh, Demon Souls, Outer Wilds, Yakuza Like a Dragon. Like, everything's been so long. No one wants me to play, like, a quick two-hour sim or something. Yeah. 
You're off by a pixel, Sarah. So just keep keep trying. Maybe you just have a little walk around, like like leave my house, or is it in here? I think they mean like if you just walk around, it's like you'll reset. You know what I mean? Like you need to like take a take a, a breather from the spot or something. Is it now? Thank you, Omo Chow. It's gonna be like a... So what's with the, is he your friend now? The little chow that's yeah. there? Yeah! Omo Chow is, uh, gives you direction. Dude. He gets a pumpkin field. No, cause this is usually, it means it's like right here. It's all Janet. This is a very good game. You can dig without jumping. I do feel bad for like my muted reaction though because it reminds me of when I will have my boyfriend try certain games and like he tends to he would say he like he doesn't hate everything but I feel like I've seen him dislike a lot of games that I've shown him and like trying to explain to him like why like when the second you have to explain to some somebody why something's fun like you have lost like it is time to just uninstall no, and walk no, away no no I haven't lost yet because it's so like rough like and that's we why can, i feel bad because i feel like i'm making you i feel like i'm making you have to be that person where it's like okay no like don't get frustrated like just look a little bit more like it was a different time they didn't have the the hit the box the box for what you had to dig was so much wider right people are saying that i can dig without jumping but press x to change I'm pressing X. I'm pressing X. I'm punching! Someone said Y, maybe? Oh! oh the old, if it's not X, it's Y. Are you kidding me? You have to scroll through the X. But now you can, now you can use that. Okay, pretend now that, you can that, use that, that knowledge. That took maybe like, not even five minutes. That was so easy. Yeah, Janet, what don't you understand? What about this does not look fun and exciting to you? You got me there. It's just there's a lot going on. When you do something bad, this might happen. What? Like, what? What? That's not even a hint. You die. You get shot. Straight to jail. Is this, how long can he glide slash fly for? Uh, I think he like slowly. He like goes down though. After a while, is the, the main. He like loses momentum. Wind. I don't know if he can fly in like every game though. Yeah, it's infinite, but you lose out. Okay, where's the prison? I guess if we want to be nitpicky, he's probably actually gliding. Like, I don't know if he's flying, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, he's not it, on his it, own. Is it the power of the Master Emerald? Okay, chat, what's the next level we should play to try and convince Janet that this is that to maybe recover our shame and try to convince Janet this is a good game? Tail chasing, okay, radical highway. The real question is like, how does it like feel to play? It feels, it it feels it, like, really good, Janet. I love it. All of the- Are you sure? It feels really good. <laughs> I love it. I love 3D Sonic games. I think if it feels fine, that's probably like, what was the critical assumption of this game? Let me, let me was it Sonic Adventure 2? Wait, are you gonna Again, I did play this. Yeah, why? You know why not? Let's take a trip down. Remember, that. I wish I. If you know what? Oh my God! Well, we the thing, the tough the tough thing about New Show Plus is that usually we have like a few hours to like solidify. Like it's kind of just has to be like a quick idea. But mm -hmm. my friend and also like you know, God, what is it called now? It's not cohort. It's what's the tier about below oh, oh, us? Com compatriot? I don't. I think yes. that it. We need better it? names, I think, too. Like, I think it is compatriot. Is it? No, that, that was you before. No, it's something else. Contributors. Again, Contributors. No Contributors. Contributors. Thank you. Nobody, that, nobody okay. tell Ben that we didn't know the name. That's actually a normal name. Because again, like for a while, we have like, even like cohort is a lot. I'm like, I'm not going to put this on my resume in this way. No one knows what this means. <laughs> what is Ben's tier? He's a uh, big boss baby Ben, big, you yeah, know? Big boss. Yeah. There you go. Ben doesn't even know. Yeah, Ben is CEO, CFO, found, founder, Creative and co-founder. Creative head. Baby. You know, he's he's an entrepreneur. Yeah. Is, is Ben, Mr. Ben? Now that he's married. Um. Oh yeah. 
So, contributor, there you go. Like Kelsey Lewin, contributor Kelsey Lewin. Um, you know, she works at the Video Game History Foundation. Like, when I did my Jack and Daxter stream, I was like, oh, can you get me any, like, Jack and Daxter stuff you have? Like, if possible. Like, if not, that's fine, because you're doing actual work and not just my dumb stream. And then she's like, no, this is, like, what it's about. It's, like, getting, you know, getting giving people resources, like, easily to old information that they want. And she gave me, like, all these old, um, like, PDFs and digital files of, like, content on Jack and Daxter at the time, like, what the coverage at the time was like, and that was, like, super fun. So that would be, if we do more Sonic stuff, maybe we could have that happen, take a, a affordable trip down memory lane. Um, but let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna look at the GameCube reviews, because that was, where did you play this game when you first played it? Yeah, right? Like, that was, that was, that's where, I don't know if that's where most people played it, but that's where I played it, and that was my association. Does it really but have I played like everything on GameCube. On um, it depends on what platform you look at. So for the GameCube, it has a 73, which I think okay. sounds sounds right to me. Like, I liked it as a kid. I don't know how good it actually was. But, you know, there's a lot of funky stuff going on here. Like, boom, there's there you go. When this guy's little legs. A car. When do we turn into a car, you guys? Which level's the car one? Because this is the robot battle. And we want to show Janet when we become a car. Yeah, battle. I mean, battle and like, added like some two-player options, but it's not much different. Like, genuinely not different. Oh, Grind race. Story. When you chase down the president. A scene. Is it probably in the beginning then? I might have to do world select or stage select. Decide which stage to go to. Here we go. Route Route 101, right? Go with my C rank. Which one's Grind Race? Okay, Janet, we are now chasing the president's limousine. Near. This thing's going so slowly, but it's making a lot of noise. <laughs> We're chasing down the president's limousine in the sky highway. Also, it's like, it's so hard to, and this is like why it, it, it's cool to have like, you know, the, the foundation stuff to pull like actual coverage of stuff, because for even a game that's, I mean, I guess it is kind of old, right? Like the GameCube era was quite a while ago, but even looking at like the reviews, almost none of them are online because like those links are dead mm -hmm. or the places yeah. went under. Um, and even the places that are established, like, like, you know, Game Informer, they don't have a link out to, I don't think they were doing maybe digital at that at that time or something or at least they don't have it anymore um yeah i know I ign's review still like, works they gave it a 6.9 out of what and 10 damn and wow. said um the last paragraph this is from like friend Rella who wrote it for sonic adventure 2 bat this is also like <laughs> I kind of feel bad at reading old reviews because they're always written in a way where it's like, yeah, this is old. So I don't know how, like, this was written or not. So I'm just going to read through it. For Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, I recommend renting it. You should... Okay, I see again. This is a big thing that was, like, back in that era. People were obsessed with rent it, yeah, buy should it. I rent like, it. Should I buy it? Should I borrow this from my neighbor down the street? Like, it's so and weird. Like, replayability... Replayability was a big thing in that era, too, where people were like, how replayable... Like, who cares about replayability? Like... Also, they're not replaying the game. So how do they even know it's replayable? Right? <laughs> like, that never made any sense to me. Like, they're not actually replaying it. Like, replayability, you'd have to, like, I think 10 years from when the game releases, you can comment on how replayable the game is. Like... So why does he want to find the president? Is it to help the president? Is it to kill the president? We're trying to save the president and tell him about Eggman's evil plan to blow up the moon. Okay, you have said the anything there, the and I would have to believe you. Um, <laughs> and anything like that sounds right, though. You know what I mean? Like that's that's par for the course. Um, and then it says you should get your money's worth out of it in that time. For those of you that played the Dreamcast version, there's little to no reason for the uh, game like GCN incarnation. The differences in visuals and animals multiplayer modes aren't worth it unless you're a hardcore fan. Okay, so this is also the era where I think they were rating the different versions, potentially? Oh, like, I don't know. But, um... Ow, ow. 
Yahoo reviewed games for a period, apparently. They did not like this game. They gave it a 40 out of 100. Oh my god! I don't know why, though. It said, although the two-player mode is entertaining, there's not enough variety to keep you going. Again, I think they were kind variety. of like... Variety? I'm on a highway in the sky chasing the president down. I think then the Dreamcast is the best place to look. Because... Um, mm -hmm. I think a lot of people that rated the GameCube version were rating it in the context of like, is this version worth yeah, picking up rather than like the game itself? Mm -hmm. um, like the Dreamcast version, like IGN gave that a, um, a 9.4, I think, <laughs> which seems maybe um, pretty high. I don't know. Maybe that's how it was hitting at the time. Decide which stage mm. to go to. But yeah, it's rated very high Select a story. Select a scene. on Dreamcast at least. What would be a good cutscene to share with Jan? Maybe this one? Story select. Yeah, so I've beat all of the stories, so I can just... All of them. Okay, Sonic. Now put that emerald... <laughs> Tails. Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility. Sonic! Now. Amy is... I, I didn't get that, Tails. What happened to Amy? So I think the cannon's gonna go off and blow up the earth. The way, the way that is strung together, it like reminds me of the, if you ever had to make a film for like school, but it was like high school and you weren't like a film student, mm -hmm. it has like that iMovie energy to it. You know, it's like, hey, let's get the main beats out. You know, like, Ms. Estrada said we only have, we only each get seven minutes because there's so many of us. So we really got to make sure that we don't go over time. Let's do the one. Where's like, yeah, here we go. This is <laughs> Kramer said that's how the cutscene ended. I think so. Yeah. But well, it probably like the cutscenes are made more sense level. when you went into the, yeah. you know. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again of all places. I found you, Faker. Faker. That's a good clip out for like memes. <laughs> you're comparing yourself to me? Huh. You're not even good enough to be I'll my make you eat those words. Oh, so edgy. So edgy. Shadow. Ah! Ah! I'm the coolest. He's the coolest. This, this fight is high octane just hedgehog gameplay. The way that they fight um, reminds me of like when you have two people who can't fight and they're just kind of like they kind of like like one person does like a slap and then like runs away. It's like that, but instead they're like spinning balls. So you're not just a hedgehog. Wow, you're really doing some like uh, pro tactics here, Sarah. What's going? What are we looking at here? I've defeated Shadow the Hedgehog. Wow. <laughs> That's like a speedrun level strat. Like he didn't even get any, you wombo combo to Shadow the Hedgehog. Like he could not get, he went down and he did not get back up again. And here he is, back up again. I always kind of hated that too in like boss battles. They always do that. They're like, you kill them and then they're just back up again. Like actually you just weakened him enough for him to be able to leave. Um, I found you, Faker. Yeah, I also like that line a lot. You're the Faker. We gotta escape before the jungle looks. There's a lot of explosions in this game. Ouch. Ow. One thing I keep hoping is I keep hoping that Sonic games will move away from like the rings as health. But I feel like maybe that's asking too much. What would you want instead? Or like, how would you want like, them to change it up? The, I guess the issue is like when you get hit, you lose all your rings. So it's like there's almost no point in collecting as many as possible if you're gonna get hit and lose them all, and then have to pick them all back up again. I don't know. It's a it's a weird mechanic that I feel like holds the series back. But it's like so integral to the series that it just kind of I don't know. You can't avoid it. Uh, I, I lightly agree with that uh, because like that's something that again it 
the game gets weird, like of any, whether it's 2D or 3D, when the momentum like starts getting kind of awkward, it just feels like, I don't know, it just takes you out of the experience. And I think the way they handle health is part of that, where like, as soon as you get hit, it feels like, it feels like you kind of stop having fun when you get hit because like you just stop and then you're like trying to quickly pick up your things. Um, like you're trying to put your shoes on at the airport. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, it feels yeah. very rushed and awkward. Yeah, suddenly you're like, oh, geez, oh, man. Oh, geez, my ring. Yeah. And I think that's like so, Ouch. I don't know. Oh, it's no. like so whack. Yeah, it's like, like here, I mean, that's always a little bit better. To... You like recovered nicely. So it didn't really ruin the flow. Ah! But like in every other game, when I get hit, I either just keep going or I die. And I feel like with Sonic, it's like, okay, time to awkwardly like scoop everything up. You're like, a, you know, from the office, Kevin, when he when he dropped all that chili. Yes, chili. <laughs> you know, um, I'm up late night roasting the garlic. God. Okay, we gotta Sonic gotta go slow. We go. See Shadow Bandit, yeah, the, the slip on sneakers at the airport, here's the thing, and I, I hate to admit it, but I actually don't currently own any slip on sneakers. I've been wanting to buy some specifically for the airport. But it's one of those things where like I don't travel that that much. Um like I travel maybe a little more than like an average person who doesn't take vacations, like really like if you're not vacationing, then you don't travel, you know, at all. And like I travel sometimes for work, so that's kinda like where my cadence is at, and then also the pandemic and everything. But yeah, I just don't have I don't have the slip on shoes right now, so I'm just struggling. Do you have TSA that's free? It. No, because I was gonna get it and then the pandemic happened, and then I was like oh, glad I put it off. You should just and now get I'm TSA like free. I know, how much is it though? It's like a hundred dollars a year though, isn't it? It's like a hundred dollars, but it lasts for five years. Oh, that's not that bad. Like yeah, I figured that. And you okay. Get an interview. Sorry, this is like Sarah travel tip. You know what? I think I'll do that when I have a trip coming up Hello? later this year for a wedding. Yeah. So I think I'll do that before that. Then. How long is it's, the process though when you apply? Do you, you have to do it now? Apply, they do a background check. You go in. They ask you a bunch of questions. Like if you've ever been a terrorist, you say no. Uh, they scan your passport. And then you get like a letter in the mail saying like you've been accepted and here's your okay. like traveler number. Yeah, I also need to get my passport renewed, so I guess step one, and then I'll do that after. Yeah, I'll probably do that. One time they let me go through TSA pre because my boyfriend has it, mm -hmm. so like they just let me go with him. But like I feel like they don't do that every time, so mm -hmm. it's definitely worth it. Nike Fly E's are right airport shoes. I would love to like get the ultimate airport outfit that's both comfortable, functional, and nice looking, but yeah, I usually right. just kind of show up as is. It's just whatever. Carver says, as someone who used the ring sound as a text alert, I hate it. <laughs> Don't make me do this again. Why are you, Why do you have to be back? Because this is like a, just, just playing through the story versus like the oh, level okay. itself. It was a pretty short level. I mean, minus that yeah. time that you were like digging Some, in the sand I mean, for like the, like... the knuckles and like Rouge the Bat levels are always kind of Select a little bit longer. Mm. Where's the scene where Rouge the Bat and Shadow fight? Yeah, face off with Knuckles. That's a, a fun one. Now you can speed run it. Green light for launch. Primary engine ignition on. Beginning lift off. But countdown. I forget why. Ten, nine, I miss when like seven, the villain of Sonic. Six, I miss when Eggman five, like. I they wish spent all their money on this cutscene specifically. <laughs> yeah, and was it wasted? Out of a what? pyramid, <laughs> Janet. <laughs> To the moon! Look at that. This is what games were about. Totally worth it. But, like, I miss the Sonic games where, like, Dr. Eggman was like, I'm gonna blow up the moon Hi, or the Earth. And how's it going? And now it's gotta what? be, like, what do you all mean they more complicated. Just it had to be more complicated than that, in That's my opinion. Okay. I will go after them myself. Can you tell me the password for the space colony? Do you know Bruce control? the Bat, Janet? Are you familiar? <laughs> a, a little bit. About this is like the extent of my familiarity. Like she's here, she's hanging out. I don't know. She's doing her job. The password is Maria. 
Maria. Hmm? I've heard that name somewhere before. If the next Not a Sonic secure movie. password. No, no numbers, no symbols. No two-factor authentication. Okay, right, the next Sonic movie. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I hope Project in the next Sonic Shadow, movie the it's just Sonic Adventure 2. If it's not just the plot to Sonic Adventure 2, I'm gonna be upset. What in the world is this? This can't be right. Just what is Shadow anyway? Hmm, I guess I'll just have to take the last pieces of the Master Emerald. She doesn't blink very much. No, like she, she kind of like lightly closes her eyes, but she doesn't. It's she blinked once the entire cutscene. She's she's a bad. She can't even see. Are very but yeah, these levels are like. Okay. Wait, I feel like playing as multiple characters, like in this way, is also a very like old school design thing. Like you don't see that a lot anymore. We're in Crash Four had it, but that's because it's also like an old series that hasn't done a lot differently in terms of the core design at least i mean the games are obviously different but yeah i don't know if the stage is the best choice uh as i look into this guy oh there we go not that one not that stage where are the easy where are the easy stages select a story select a scene shadows pass that's that'll be good Okay, so I did do some sleuthing on the internet to try to find these Sonic trivia questions that you requested. Um, I didn't find a lot that weren't intended for just children, but I found a couple things here and there. I also have no way of knowing how true these are or not. But would you like to go through these random internet questions about Sonic yes. and your Sonic love? Well, okay. I want to watch spoilers for Sonic Adventure 2, I guess, because I want to watch this okay. scene. They're so small. <laughs> It took them so long to get up those stairs. Oh! <laughs> Look at how big that emerald is. It's a real Service big emerald. The seven chaos. Chaos is power. Power is enriched by the heart. Are you paying attention? Are you taking notes? Yes, chaos. always. Only chaos is power. Stop the chaos emeralds. Didn't they share? Did the image that they shared of like Knuckles and the chaos emerald was that a Sonic Frontier thing? Oh no. Oh, goodbye. Is it gone? Is that what chaos control is? I'm not actually fighting the bio lizard. I refuse to do that Since fight again. The chaos emeralds. Why is the space colony still on a crash course to Earth? Oh no. I like how they're having a full conversation. We're not doing this again. I'm not doing this again. <laughs> Sonic. Yeah, we're here for story only. Are they just all looking at each <laughs> <The> other? <way? laughs> <laughs> this is giving like the end of those DBZ episodes where they clearly they want to just take it on to the next episode. So they just stare for a really long time. It's like a lot of heavy breathing so, like, and shoot shots. Budget. They don't have a budget for that. I think this might be the final, final, final. Are they like rolling some dice right now? <laughs> it's the power of the Chaos Emeralds, Janet, please. <laughs> uh, supersonic. Takashi Katana said they're using those shake weights. <laughs> it did have a lot of shake weight energy to it. I'll just leave it at that. I forgot how you're supposed to do this. Yeah, the we, final as a kid, this is hazard. So There's no space between the word final and hazard either. It's a full which, name. Maybe that's its name, the final hazard. They're here to kill chaos. I was thinking of that too. Okay, now this is just Asura's Wrath. Like, how is this not Asura's Wrath right now? <laughs> I, I, where does the monster come from? Look, they're using the power of friendship. Yeah! We're literally just like. We're mostly here for the music, Janet. Now it's up to you, Sonic. We get a music review from Janet on this, on these sick beats. Um, I'd give it at least like. A 
7 out of 10 for the quality, or maybe like a 6 out of 10 for the quality, but an 8 out of 10 for like the vibes. You know what I mean? Like when you're in the mood for something like this, you're like, yeah, this is a good time. That thing is sharp. It looks like a big piece of candy. It looks like those, like, remember those rope things? Like the nerd ropes? Oh yeah, I love those. I don't feel bad for this creature. Classic. Why do you have to kill it? And like, why is it on the end of a giant gun? <laughs> it feels rude. Yeah, they like impaled it. I feel like the, the creature doesn't know what it's being made to do. You know what I mean? No. Look at how shiny he is. Basically near. Look, it's like literally just a bullet. Near before near was out. Essentially a bullet. This, yeah, walk so near could run, you know. Why am I doing this? Again? This is where the death perception were really. This is hard mode for death perception. Like how far from this are you? You don't know. As long as they're gonna touch you, you have no idea. You just gotta, you gotta believe. Please, please. I don't think that I get it. I don't know if I got it. No, I did, I did get it. I mean, it's hard to fight in space, you know, when you're a super hedgehog. Are you gonna play the new Sonic Frontier game, Stan? Are you gonna play it? Yeah. Yeah, I plan to play it. Um, you know, assuming I get code. I, I probably would buy it if I didn't get code, because I feel, I still feel like even if it's not good, it is probably gonna be, it is like definitely a big release of the year. And I generally try to play every big release, unless it's really, really out of my wheelhouse. Like I didn't play like Gran Turismo, because I'm like, <laughs> I just don't think I'm, it's going to be as meaningful for anyone to really like see yeah. me play it. Yeah. Um, but Sonic, like, there's there is no mechanical or narrative reason why I shouldn't like Sonic. Um, so we'll just see what he does. That's you know, I'm gonna I'm That's gonna go there and see what happens. Consider this year Sonic 3D Education. Then this is a crash, literal crash course. No way that's getting through. I am gonna say, like, this does make me wonder, did I really actually even finish this game as a kid? Maybe Probably I didn't. Not, because I didn't. I feel like I, like I did. Back and do it. Okay, maybe I didn't then. I thought I did, things but I just finish. got to the Chow Garden and stopped playing. Now, Shadow. I feel like it's interesting, too, seeing it Chaos go through all this, because I think a lot of games try to do this larger-than-life thing, and I don't know how successful they were. <laughs> in doing that, but it reminds me of how, like, want, you know, right? Kirby games get crazy, this too. I but, I don't know. This is obviously way more dialogue heavy than that, so it yeah. ends up coming off a little, um, dramatic. <laughs> Shadow just died, Janet. I'm sure it's he fine. He's well, dead, I, 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 I didn't in post. <laughs> we've, we've saved the world. Thank you, Asumi, over the sub. Okay, Look, see people saved. in games where there aren't <laughs> human beings... Is always really like, this is giving like Mario Odyssey, like the Odyssey, the the <laughs> people, the New Donk City. It's giving New Donk City. were so un uncanny. I hated that. They look so creepy. Look. <gasps> Do you really think that the professor created him, oh Shadow? I don't know why it sounds like it's hard for Rouge to speak. All those who live here on Earth. He was what he was. A brave and heroic hedgehog. Who gave his life to save this planet. He was what he was. A hedgehog. I guess you're right. It's really deep. As a child. Yeah, this counts as finishing the entire game if you've never played Sonic Adventure 2. Um... What was it? I I don't think I've ever seen a an additional cutscene go while they have the credits rolling. Yeah, no subtitles either. Did he really mean to destroy us? I don't and know. it's all the characters just like is, reflecting on their experience in the game. Yeah, which is kind of weird because I'm like, don't we hate this guy? Like, we're just like. I guess he, I think it got out of hand. It always happens. Like, Doctor so Eggman off again to find those makes a mistake. And then he's like, yeah, Tiny Child Garden! This line of work, too much work and then he's like, oh no, I made a mistake. And then in the end, anyway, he's like, thank you, Sonic, something better than for saving us. About right now. Fixing my mistake. 
Yeah, hey, Mon Chan, I don't hate it because it does give you something to look at while you're seeing the credits. Because normally I'm just watching them. Like my infamous when I tried to watch the Hitman 3 credits and it literally took over half an hour and I had to just stop because they were also rolling the credits for the other two games. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, let's go home. Dude, the planet is cool and blue as me. So then your Sonic opinion is just kind of like he's a character that's popular and you don't hate him, but you're like. I think he's had I think it's rough he's definitely been like memed to hell and I think it's oh it's weird because even though like Sonic games are inherently like platformers of like just a different kind of ilk because they're so like really they sort of function differently than other ones would and I think some people just inherently don't like that but then there's also like the 3d ones which kind of are a, a blend and then, like I said, I think there are some good Sonic games, but I think there are so many Sonic games that maybe aren't quite agreed upon as good that, like, the it starts to become, like, how many of these games were actually, like, enjoyable, even if you are, like, a fan of Sonic and, like, the character and, like, sort of the, uh, the design elements of those games. So it's, like, weird. But he's also, like, really iconic. He's, like, the most iconic not critically acclaimed <laughs> thing in gaming, I feel like. Or at least, um, you know, debatable. Because there's always, like, that, that argument of, like, are the Sonic games good or they're not good? Have they ever been good? Oh, we think they're good. Then, like, three years pass, we realize it was dumb that we fought a dragon attached to a gun, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, what talking about? That was awesome. Like, I don't know. What about you? Where do you land on? What's your Sonic, your big Sonic takeaway? I mean, I love Sonic because I love, you know, how dumb it is and how every Sonic game is just never good like they never quite get it right even though they're clearly trying um that's a good point though is like sonic is so popular despite never having like a genuinely great game in a while besides sonic mania which they yeah. didn't really make but it's like he's so popular and people like him but it's like none, none of the games are doing him any uh they're working actively against sonic the hedgehog it's a weird, it's a weird environment. I think Sonic is popular. Like, because David says, is Sonic popular or well-known? I think he's popular. Like, oh, yeah. I, I don't think, I think in gaming, you can't really be one or the, without being the other, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. there's the movies, there's also, he's just like, he's synonymous with gaming. Like, it reminds me of how, and I don't know if this mural's still up, because there probably isn't, because IGN moved from, like, the, one of their offices to, like, a different office in the same, like, city or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but at one point, there was a mural in one of the studios that was, like, general gaming kind of mural. And, it, and who was there? It was Mario, Sonic, probably, like, Master Chief. There was, like, other people there, too. But, like, Sonic is synonymous with gaming. Like, mm -hmm. like you know, Mario and Sonic of the Olympics. Like, you know, and then Nintendo versus Sega. Like, it's just... He's so ingrained in gaming culture that even if you don't really like his games, you could still think he's, like cool mm -hmm. um and i think they did they had some stuff that's just kind of generally appealing like i think having sonic and shadow it's a very like goku vegeta energy and i find i think that dynamic is really appealing to people um so yeah i don't know and he's like he's both cool and cute like i think i put up that poll like a sonic cool or is he cute but he's kind of made to be both um at any time I and i think that's also very sonic appealing very cool yeah, I, yeah. I think they lean more on cool, but I think he's also like kind of cute, especially if the chibi like kind of version. There's that's the thing too. There's like different ways to depict him, and yeah. Um, also, thank you, Rich McL, for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Here, have you been to Chow Hell, Janet? No, I mean probably, but show me, show me the hell, the hell garden. What's this other animal? Is it like a leopard? Like really, yeah. really tiny well, leopard? Well, that's what like, if you, here, if you take a, like a leopard and you give it sure. to your chow, they do kisses. And then Cute. they get some of the little, they get little ears. Oh, it's like a kiss for a cosmetic situation. And then they like get the abilities. Tails can't go to hell. I'm pretty sure he can. So this is chow hell. This is such a weirdly fleshed out part of the game. 
Dark garden. So this yeah. is Chowhouse. So what's what's the situation here? It's like when you hate them, you put them here? When you interact with the Chows as like the dark heroes, so like Shadow Rouge or Dr. Eggman, they sure. turn kind of evil. They're not like bad, but they're just, they get a little scary, you know? Yeah, this is, Tails shouldn't be mm. here. They get a little spooky. Um, And this is where the spooky Chows live. And you unlock them by unlocking like, by making a spooky Chow. And then you also get to go to Chow Heaven. Which is where is up here. I think too, like one thing that is sort of um I don't know if you want to say impressive necessarily, but like one of the reasons I think Sonic is like so iconic and popular is that like there's a cast of characters that you like can connect with. It's more than just Sonic. Like even if you only casually know Sonic, you probably still can name like Knuckles, Tails, Eggman. Like it, it just kind of there's like a lot of people to sort of cling to and they all fit in these like very convenient archetypes, right? Where it's like Shadow's cool and badass, and like Tails is like, if you were one of the people that wasn't mad that you played as Raiden, you probably like Tails, you know? Mm -hmm. Look at my child, he's playing the flute, Jana. He's very cute. dancing. He's a dragon. And also a unicorn, I think. But this is it, this is this Chow Garden right here. This is, this is the reason to play Sonic there... too. A set number of them to collect, like. Um, there's like different legendary yeah. animals that you can get. You can get like legendary animals. You can get like immortal. I think immortal chows. Although I'm not even sure if that's in here. You can get a golden chow. You can. It's basically just like a whole another aspect to the game for whatever reason. I think more games need sim aspects in them. Like yeah. I'm still mad that like in Horizon you don't get like a farm. Yeah. Like, I want my animal farm. Yeah, like, cut out, able to, like, like, maybe some of the side quests and just invest it into a farm. Well, too, you went to, you know, like, Light Spoilers for the game. You go to, like, a, a village, like, you meet, like, a community that has, that does farming. And they have, like, a machine that does yeah. farming. And I'm like, they're going to do like, the farm. The and then they just animals. don't. And they have, like, tamed animals. And you're like, are we farming here? Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, people, people farm, but you don't. Mm -hmm. I don't understand why I'm not farming. Take him to a race. See if we can win. You can also make them fight, like in Chow Karate. You can make them like street fighter fight. Each what do you other. get for like winning again? You can like unlock special stuff. Do I only a beginner race? Lame. We're better than that. Uh, let's see. Here, let me show you. Let me show you Chow Karate. Let me show you some Chow Karate stuff. Uh, Father Zaccius in the chat says, first game I got with the GameCube. I must have spent a um, hundred hours trying to get the better Chows as a kid. They oh, you get stuff it. in the Chow Garden. Okay. That's yeah, cute. Yeah, they're definitely worth getting. Yeah, I, I like the Chows and I like the Chow Garden. I don't want people to walk away thinking I don't like the Chow Garden. It's just that I don't remember much about like what I actually thought about anything here. The only, again, only memory is Chow Garden skating down the street. That's it. Mm -hmm. Were the, did I like doing those things? I think I did. I, I don't... It's funny, though, because as a kid, I don't remember actually playing any games that I didn't like. Um, other than when I got my Game Boy Pocket, the first game I got... Um, like my grandma didn't know what game to get me, so she just got me whatever, and she got me um, a Smurfs game. And that game sucked. I did not like that game. I did still beat it. That's the first game I didn't so like that I beat. So you're saying that we should play it on New Show Plus. Oh, I'd be so down saying, to do that. Also, we should too, play the worst game Janet ever had to play as a child. Someone just, um, I would need to buy it, but I'm, I can't imagine it goes for a lot. Um, and I have, I don't know where I have it behind me in my shelf, but I actually bought a, um, I forget the name of the company too, but I'll show it eventually. Like, I bought this thing where you can basically, you plug it into the PC and you can put like Game Boy or GBA cartridges oh, yeah. into it. Yeah, those look yeah, so good. Was, yeah, it was. I haven't used it yet. I bought it like half a year ago. I just haven't gotten it because I've been saving it for content purposes. So that's why I haven't used it. Because I'm like, okay, I'm gonna like do a whole thing where like I like do a like kind of review. I'm gonna do some streams, like make a whole thing about it. But I just haven't um, taken the time. But I would totally do that. Um, it is kind of like that, Crowboy, but it's not called that. It's called like 
I don't got. I don't know. Like it's like it, you put the cartridge oh, in it, right? I think it's called like the Game Boy Operator. Yeah, and like yes, you, by Apple, by Epilog is the company it that makes into it. into your computer and you just put the cartridge in, right? Yeah, it's like a clear little thing. Where would I have put it if I had it? I know I have it, but I cleaned out my shelf recently. And I don't know where I stuck it, but um, yeah, and it's only like fifty bucks plus shipping and handling. Um, I keep forgetting it's I have an analog bucks? pocket pre-order. Yeah, and I, I haven't used it yet, but like I know other people that have used it and really liked it. Um, it does basically just run the game. I think it does also offer like some light like additions, but it's mostly just like, do you want to be able to play the games on your PC? Like, um, okay, it so sounds like thing we're doing too, an ad, but we're not. I know. It, uh, though, if you're trying to sponsor us, let us know because maybe that would be cool because it seems like a cool product. But it's like a, it's an emulator that updates the save files as you play. I'm just like reading off the website. So it like, it has some cool stuff. I think you can also maybe take, maybe take like screenshots or something. So like it, it helps with like your saves. And I think you can also like um, use it for homebrewing and developing original hardware. Oh, and also one thing that's really cool, even though like if you know how to open it up and look at the cart you could do this yourself it does counterfeit cartridge detection which i'm a little afraid of because i'm pretty sure i have some fake games and then it just and like now I have alerts to face the truth. it calls the police it like calls yeah. the nintendo hotline gotcha. like gotcha yeah um it's an inside job but mostly i want to just be able to stream and i know you can just do emulation but i like to avoid doing that when i can and it just seems like a cool way to like oh i can capture footage and stream easily and blah 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 so yeah um but yeah i would totally play that i think it's a pretty short game too um let me write that down like our i mean it could just be me but if anyone has like games you hated as a child that you played like the worst worst childhood games would be a fun series to, i don't think i beat mine because sounds like mine was like the harry potter gba game harry Ooh. potter philosopher stone and i got stuck in the green gods mine i don't think i ever got out of the green gods mine there's also the harry potter pc game that was another philosopher stone one uh that i could not i kept like dying to like peeves and i couldn't figure out how, there's so many games as a kid that you play and then it's like impossible also apparently this game and it's like i'm sure if you like know the game better you can finish it faster or whatever mm -hmm. This, according to YouTube, like some of the complete playthrough of the Smurfs game, it is 23 minutes long. It's only 20. Why? Yeah, why is it so? I mean, maybe maybe it's just like because they're like a really pro level. Like maybe it would take me like 40, but I'm guessing it's a really short game. But, you know, it's, it is funny, like how things have changed because legitimately back in the day, that was very common for games to be like super short, like random shovelware, short things, yeah, like, like two hour things. And now people are like, are like, oh, if it's only like only twenty hours, like, I, and hey, I mean, if people want longer games, that that's fine. You can play long games if you want to. But it is funny that like back in the day, like things would be like really, really short, mm -hmm. and they weren't story driven games either. They were like regular, were regular levels. games. <laughs> yes. Oh man. Oh man. Anyways. Are you now? I feel like I failed in my convincing Janet that it turned out that it turned. It was just Sonic. It was just like Janet maybe convincing me that Sonic Adventure 2 wasn't the game of my dreams. Uh, I feel I think, like in the great debate. Here's what I learned from this experience. One, I maybe didn't ever beat this game because I didn't <laughs> recognize a lot of that shit that happened at the end. <laughs> Two, um, there's a lot of ideas thrown in there. And I do think marathoned just tossed out it's a lot but i could mm -hmm. see it being like definitely like a cult classic vibe you know where mm -hmm. it's like all right of the era you know it's definitely got the dumb fun I there it, i don't know what i would think going front to back on it now but it seems easier to play than chibi robo so that's good enough for me i think <laughs> and chibi robo seems Janet, cool I, like, thought this is I, not was, a, I thought i thought it did seem cool, but it seemed very complicated and very like. I thought slow. that I was getting out of this unscathed for a second. <laughs> it's so it. I look so complicated, and it's so long. But the game seems cool. Oh my god! But then every time I asked y'all, 
Because I'm like, oh, is this is this like a good game? Because it looks cool. And then y'all are like, I mean, it's what we're playing today, but I don't know if I would say it's good, you know? Robo and then Ben's the here crossfire. falling through a hole. Um, yeah. Like, I kind of want, like, watching it, I'm like, I want to play this, but maybe I don't because no one seems like they had the best of times, but... I had fun watching you guys play it, so. Okay, I appreciate that. That's good that. enough for me. Thank you, Janet. I'm gonna go. Chibi Robo doesn't deserve this. Thank you, everybody. Poor for, Chibi. For watching our stream. If you thought, hey, this video wasn't bad, well, there's a whole lot more like it on MinMax's YouTube channel. Please help us out by subscribing to our channel and checking out the MinMax Show podcast, also available on your favorite podcast app, the best, most thorough discussion about games on the internet with the deepest dive, our monthly community trivia show with prizes called Trivia Tower, and a whole lot more. Thanks so much for your support, everybody. All you gotta do is click that subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it.